Hi, my name is Nicole Nassi from The Wedding League in Los Angeles, California, and today I'm going to discuss how to select your wedding bands. Just to be clear, wedding bands are different than engagement rings. Usually what happens is the, the gentleman goes and buys a, an engagement ring for his soon-to-be fiance, and then later on, once they are engaged, the couple goes back to either the same jeweler or a different one to then choose wedding bands, which will actually be a part of their ceremony come the day of the wedding. So, um, The first thing that's important when selecting your wedding bands is to know your options. There are essentially the four four options that you could choose from, one being yellow gold, another one being rose gold. Those are the least popular of the two. The two that you're going to see the most these days will be white gold and platinum. So just to give you just a real quick idea of the difference of the two, white gold naturally is kind of like a light gray color. So in order to get that really shiny white color, they have to put a layer of a certain material, or not a material, but a substance over it. So because of that, you will have to go in maybe every five years or so to get that same substance, that same coating on your ring. So the pro of white gold is that it's cheaper, but the con is that you have to keep spending money every five years or so to get it recoded. Then you have platinum, which is actually right now the most popular in wedding bands. The great thing about it is that it's much denser than gold, so it's much sturdier, and it already is pretty much all naturally platinum, so there's no extra coating on it, and it's already shiny and will stay that way pretty much forever. The pros for that is that it's stronger and will stay the quality longer, but the cons is that it's, it's way more expensive. So definitely know your options. The, the next step is to ask yourself questions about what you are looking for, and it's good to know these questions, the answers to these questions, before you even walk into a jeweler. So for example, how wide do you want it? Do you want gemstones in it? Will those gemstones be diamonds or sapphires? Do you want uh, something to be molded to, your, to the engagement ring for your fiancé? So definitely ask each other the questions so you have a good solid plan when you walk into the jeweler. The next step is to create a budget. So when I have work with my clients, we create a budget for the entire wedding. And within that budget for the entire wedding, we also factor in wedding bands. So definitely go in with the price in mind so that you're not spending too much. And then you can't spend money on other areas of the wedding. And then the last step is to just be open-minded. Um, the jeweler is obviously going to be an expert in that particular field. So he will listen to all of your wants and needs and what you think you know and want about rings. However, maybe after listening to you, he has something else in mind that you never knew you always wanted. So definitely keep an open mind if he has any suggestions. You'll definitely be able to find a wedding ring that fits your personality, fits your budget, and it'll make the process pain free. So again, my name is Nicole Nassi from The Wedding League and thank you so much for watching my video on how to select wedding bands.